It is Country Viewpoint here on Flow FM, and we welcome back to the program our next guest who has, of recent times, had a little bit of maternity leave looking after the family, but certainly back in action now and has hit the ground running. Not only is she the member for Lowen, but also the Shadow Minister for Mental Health. Very appropriately, we welcome back today Emma Keeley. How are you, Emma? I'm exceptionally well, thank you, Jason, and great to be back. How is the family doing? How is mum doing? Oh, fantastic. It's, um, it's such a joy to have a little one in your life. And particularly, uh, I had her during a lockdown. So it was a really interesting time to be in that scenario where you couldn't have any visitors in the hospital and we were going through homeschooling at the time. Uh, it was a different environment to have a newborn. But uh, she's now caught up with, I think she's met all of her cousins and aunties and uncles and uh, it's been lovely over that Christmas break just to form those connections with family, which is it's just been lovely. Absolutely. Now, there's been a lot happening uh, since your return to action. And more recently, we had the, the snap five-day lockdown. And this brings to light two important issues I, th- I think we need to speak about. One, of course, is under your portfolio banner, and, and that is mental health. And we will get to that in a moment. But just first, the impact that the snap five-day lockdown would have had on your constituents, people, businesses, small businesses um, in your area. We know there's been some support released uh, by the Victorian government for businesses, and we'll get to that later on as well. But what were the major impacts that you saw for your constituents through that snap five-day lockdown, given that you had zero profile of coronavirus in your community? It was very tough, Jason. Uh, you know, earlier in that week when Daniel Andrews had announced the lockdown, he was assuring the community that a hotel quarantine in Victoria was at a gold standard and every other state was seeking to copy it. And then a day later, that that sort of gloating terminology disappeared. And then the following day, we had this late announcement that we were going into lockdown within hours and it wasn't just a, you know, the standard lockdown that we were used to in the past in our region. It was uh, the harshest lockdown that we've ever had. So even in areas where there's never been a case of coronavirus or we, and we were hundreds of kilometres, over 500 kilometres in some instances to the nearest case of coronavirus, people were not allowed to travel more than five kilometres from their home and this was one of the, the key reasons, those, uh, the exemptions under the stay-at-home direction. So... I, I think for many people it was just the suddenness of it and the I guess that it was a blanket lockdown, that there really didn't see the, seem to be a proportionate response. And I think it was only within about 10 minutes that I started to get calls from a local florists who were really confused about what they could do. Uh, it was Valentine's Day coming up and they had an abundance of stock that they'd ordered in uh, for that day as their biggest day of the year. Uh, and also cafes and restaurants. I mean, they're just getting cranking again after the lockdowns of last year. Uh, Melbourne was shut down for 112 days last year. Uh, we've had a fantastic tourism season through the Grampians, but uh, to get that lockdown called when you've already got your stock on hand and your fridge is full and your freezer is full, freezer not such a big deal, but your fridge full of, of fresh goods, and then you can't sell it. You shut for five days. It was, it was very, very hard for a lot of people. Member for Lowen and Shadow Minister for Mental Health, Emma Keeley, joining us here on Country Viewpoint today. And Emma, I want to talk about uh, the mental health ramifications of these lockdowns in Victoria and what we are facing now as an ongoing issue. Uh, We'll do that in the next hour. Before we do, some more music coming up from Hayley Jensen. That's coming up after this.